Okay guys, um, second video I've done on YouTube. I bought a new tent, as you can see, it's the Van Gogh Pulsar Pro 300. Um, seems small, compact, I've just actually taken delivery from it now. Now, they say the weight is 3.9 kilos, so excuse my... It's totally off my hands. Let's see. Six. Six kilos. Let's see if I can move it a bit closer. Get a true weight here. Oh, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. True weight of the Vango Pulsar Pro 300 I looked at the uh, old Vango 350 um, pretty similar tent and the reason I wanted this was I need a bit more um, room inside to cook maybe should there be bad weather but also coming with the uh, Van Gogh excuse my photographic skills or lack of is the Van Gogh Pulsar 300 footprint now the idea of the footprint is you lay this down first and you lay your tent on top it sort of protects the ground sheet a little bit so I'm going to try and set this up um, I don't have a lot of battery power here, so I'll do this in stages for you. Okay, the Van Gogh Pulsar 300. Okay, so what comes in the bag? Ten pegs, guy ropes, I believe three set of poles. This is obviously the outer sheet, and this one I'm standing on at the moment is the inner sheet. So, I have to do this in stages. I'm on my own, I've never put this particular tent up myself. And what you'll see. So I have the fruit print there, but obviously I couldn't put that up until I had 10 pegs. But it comes with the 10 pegs. Thank goodness, the guy ropes and the poles. So I shall get back to you. Okay, I've laid the foot print down. I don't know if it's correct. But the foot print... I've just pegged it out at the moment. Back here. You see I've got a tape measure here. I'll just get that right to the edge here. And the footprint is about two and a half feet, I think. It's actually just shy of 13 feet, and that is obviously the length. Let me just zoom out a little bit here, and now we shall do the widest part of the footprint is, let's get out the sun here a little bit, if you can see that. Five foot, but five and a half foot wide. That's the footprint. Now, as you can see, quite rarely, there are three sets of poles. But going by the instructions, it did say put the footprint down first. I have put the footprint down first 
and because I'm an idiot, I'm not quite understanding how to put this on top of the footprint, but all shall be revealed. Okay, now, learning curves. Each of these poles on the apex has a colour code. So, red tab, red mark on the apex, red tab, red on the apex, yellow tab, which is the back of the tent, yellow on the apex. Jesus, that was a nightmare trying to suss that out. I, I should have paid more attention. My fault, but I found something else <laughs> that I don't like. Straight away, I don't know if you can see this. This peg here has become detached from the inside of the pole. Now, I don't want to take her back off yet, but this peg here has become detached. It's on an elastic like the rest of the poles, but there's a knot in it. And to push it back in, I don't want to snap it. So that's going to be a ball ache. If I lose this peg, this ring will just slide up. So something to be aware of. So I shall continue. Okay, so now, not perfect. First time I've put this tent up. I'd like that a little bit straighter. I'd like this a little bit tighter. But you know, it's just, uh, it's a bit flabby here. This is the inner tent. But I have sussed out. I should have read the destructions. This is your, um, footprint, this is your footprint, it should clip on to these plastic circles, but there are no plastic circles here so I take it has to be my tent peg, this is the vestibule area that I'm in, that is the sleeping area, as you can see I have not got it pitch perfect, so at the moment with more that side, then we have more this side. But the more you do it, the easier it shall become. As long as water does not run from the outer sheet onto the inner, inner ground sheet, we shall be okay. Next step. Okay, so here we have it. She's up. She's not perfectly up, but she's up. I would say once all the guy ropes are in place, there'll be no shuttering. That's here. That's our awning compartment. And as I said before, I have a footprint underneath. Again, there's plenty of space all round. Keep it nice and dry. Do not over tighten. Inside. Yes, I do prefer these pockets here to be up near the head. So at night time, you want to grab a torch, a flashlight, whatever you want to call it, a toilet roll even, you know, it's at hand. There's a little pocket up here. Now, if you can tell me anybody what this little pocket's for up here, please do. I have absolutely no clue. 
And if you come further up here, let's see if I can zoom in. That is tiny. Look at the size of that. That could be a bigger loop. I'll put a bit of paracord on that, make a bigger loop for a light or something at night time. But what these little pockets are for, I've absolutely no idea. Well, I'm going to come all the way to the back of the tent here. It's a fair sized tent. As I say, I'm five foot four, five, something like that. My feet ain't touching the back. It's very wide. A nice vent up here. A nice big vestibule. Now I know, I know we are not meant to cook in tents. I understand. However, I have um, done it before and I know for a surety that it can work if you are careful. I'm not saying that you should cook in a tent, but when the weather is horrific, sometimes just with a little stove, prima stove, not a wood burning stove, you can cook in them. What else is to be said? Yes. Very simply said, this little toggle, obviously, is for tying back the door. Simple as that. Just tying back the door. The plastic clips from the vestibule ground sheet and from the, the inner shell of the tent. Pockets for your storm retrainer straps. Another vent. And I don't think there's much more to say, really. Um, it's work in progress. I'll get to it. No how to perfectly set her up. I'm going to go to Mayo um, this week. I'll go back to Mayo and uh, we will put this tent to work. But as I said, anyone thinking about this tent, it is colour coded. Inside this sheath on the apex is colour code yellow. This goes with the colour code here of yellow. These two poles are the same. On the apex inside, on the pole itself is red. The same as it is with this one. And the red corresponds with the red tag. Now, I did say before, when putting this tent up, you feed the pole through the sheet, the, the sheath, and down the other side. Do not try and pull it back. Do not try and pull it back, because if the pole, I don't know if you can see this, you can see the shade of the pole here. If you pull the pole, it will become detached and it's a pain in the ass to get out. So take your time with it. It took me quite a while today. As I say, first time to use it. I'll take my time in future. I don't know how difficult this will be when the weather is against you. Shows a big tent. The reason I got it, well, I like the extra space inside. I do like the extra space in this vestibule. 
and I know when I put a little camp seat up I might be able to just sit on that we'll have to wait and see so yeah that's just a quick guide on the uh, Vango Pulsar Pro 300 thanks for watching